Hey everybody, Sam back once again. Yes, we've just unboxed it. So now it's time to go for the setup and show what it asks you. So yes, here it is, the Galaxy Note 3. And as always, I like to do my setup videos. I get a lot of requests for them. And they seem pretty popular, so I'll carry on doing them until you guys tell me not to do them anymore. So, when the device is first turned on, it's gonna ask you if you guys do you wanna do data services. Yes, we wanna do data services. It's then gonna ask you for your country. So as always, we will do in the United Kingdom. Accessibility, um, if you're partially sighted, you may have hearing problems. If you've got some kind of, some class, what would class as a disability, then going to accessibility, you can actually change some of the options in there. Anyway, let's log into my Wi-Fi network. So we've got eVirus 2.4. Is it gonna find my, yes, my five gigahertz network as well. So we're just gonna log into this one really quickly. And there we have it, we're just gonna click connect, see how quickly it connects to there, obtain an IP address, and wabam, we are now connected. So let's click next on here. Sorry for the flickering screen, AMOLED displays, they've got a different kind of um, frequency. I forgot the actual wording for it now. It's like a hertz, I believe. Yep, the hertz for it. Um, anyway, this is asking you, do we agree for the end user um, license agreement? Now, unfortunately, you've got to click yes, or you can't use your bloody phone. Now, on this one here, I click no, and it's asking, do you, you know, are you okay to give, you know, kind of information to Samsung with regards to login error and stuff like that? Most people will probably say, Sam, you should really give it to Samsung. I don't know why. I don't. I just don't trust Samsung to some degree. Don't know why. It's just, it's just me. If you've got a Samsung account, this is going to ask you to log in at this point. Now, I do have a Samsung account, so I am going to log into this bad boy. So I'm now logged into my Samsung account. I can either restart and auto back up. Now, I'm not going to restore in this case because I use my Google account for that one. So we'll keep next on there. Do you want to back up without restoring? Yes, I do. Right, reactivation lock. Now, this is something you have not seen before. So, use your Samsung account to stop other people from reactivating your device after it's been reset. Oh, I like that idea. So, in other words, if somebody has your phone and they don't log into your Samsung account, they're not able to do this without you actually providing your details. So, yes, we will... We will re we'll actually enable that, so if somebody nicks it, I can... Um, Tell them to bugger off. Right, if you've got a Google account, this is the time you're gonna to wanna to log in. So do we have a Gmail account? Yes, we do. So I'm just gonna log into that one as well. Right, it's now currently logging into my Google account. Again, if you've not got a Google account, what you'll do is you will click no, and you can log in that way. Right, now it's asking me, do I want a backup? So as you can probably see here, you can use your Google account to back up your apps um, and Wi-Fi, etc. And you can bring your apps and other data from, uh, to this phone from your previous backed up phone. So in other words, if you've had another device like my LG G2, I've got all the data on there. I can actually restore a lot of that to this phone. I think that's an awesome idea. So yes, I am, um, in this case, actually no, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna download a lot of stuff this one. So I don't want to bring the actual applications, but I wanna bring some of my settings such as Wi-Fi passwords and bookmarks. So communication. Keep up to date with news and offers from Google Play. No, you can bugger off. I'm fed up with your emails. And that's going to ask me for my name. So the phone belongs to Sam Pullum. That will be correct. My phone is stalking me. Now, if you've got a Dropbox account, at this point, you can log into it. If you've not got a Dropbox, you can create one and you get 50 gigabytes of free storage for two years. Now, how cool is that? So once again, we are going to uh, log into my Dropbox account. Actually, no, we're going to skip this one. We'll log into that later on. So it's going to say Samsung, Sam J. Puller, and I'll tell you what, we're going to change that. Let's just change all of this one. So we will have it as full capital Sam J. Puller, and Galaxy Note 3. So I'll click done on there and we will click finish. Now, for anyone really why it's really, really hard to reach round, I've got my camera and my microphone and what here, so I do apologise. And that's it, we are now officially set up on the device. Now, if you want me to do more videos on some other things, such as like these kind of settings here, then I can do as well. But that is it, you can now be up and running with your device and start playing with it straight away. Anyway, well, that's it. That's my quick walkthrough on the initial setup on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. As always, any questions, leave those comments down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullen. If you enjoyed this video or any videos that I do produce, please hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.